All right, first let me clear up the misconception. We have always focused on the mental health and wellness support of students across the system, including the schools that were used as isolation centers. So counseling sessions did not start just last week. It has been an ongoing process from the beginning of the pandemic. Um, at the schools that were specifically used as isolation centers um, from 2020, the Blackman and Gallup School, for example, um, we had a primary school counselor, and she was from the Sandy Lane Charitable Trust Primary School Counseling Program, and she would have been stationed at Blackman and Gallup, I would say, probably for about five years. And so she continued the work that she normally did with children who were identified who were having challenges. Um, at the secondary schools, the the process that was used is that the guidance counselors and those who were outfitted with secondary school counselors because last term the student support services unit we benefited from an additional seven secondary school counselors so those schools who had the secondary school counselors worked closely with the guidance counselors to do a universal support of students mainly through the health and family life education classes where teachers would have engaged in discussions about coping, mental health and wellness, how students were feeling about the pandemic generally, about the return to school, the use of the buildings, and so on. And in those forums, we were able to identify students who may have needed additional support other than the whole class approach. And those students were and continue to be assisted by the guidance counselors associated with the schools, the secondary school counselors that the ministry would have placed in those schools last term as well as the school safety officers. And the school safety officers was another addition to student services in the pandemic period. Prior to 2020, persons responsible for mental health and wellness support in the ministry was three persons, myself and two social workers. But in the pandemic, um, we were given additional support staff in student services. Our staff complement has increased by more than 100%. We were given 23 new officers in student services, and they span from special needs education to school safety officers who are essentially social workers placed in the secondary schools, um, secondary school counselors, as well as social workers at the primary schools. So in those schools that were used as facilities, the school safety officers slash social workers along with the secondary school counselors and the guidance counselors, continue to provide support to students who were identified as needing such, in addition to the universal support that was given through the health and family life education classes. Um, the children have responded well. Um, persons would have discussed the fears and anxieties that they may have had, some children did express that they have those concerns, but I would say the majority of children are keen and eager and excited and, and ready to go back to school based on the forums that we would have put in place to support the students. I want to also say that in addition to the support for students, we have also spent quite a heavy emphasis putting support in place for staff. And this didn't just start. Um, this would have been ongoing throughout the pandemic. In 2020, for example, we partnered with UNICEF and they offered support groups for any teacher from primary or secondary school who indicated that they needed some guidance, some assistance in managing with the pandemic, in managing with COVID, in managing with teaching online. Um, UNICEF worked with Network Support Services and the Ministry of Education to provide those support groups. There also was a facility if persons were not comfortable with working in with the network services because they're a local-based organization where they could have benefited from what we call um, telecounseling from professionals who operate from outside of the region, actually. And uh, that facility was put in place in 2020. We also would have offered our support through student services, as the name suggests. We are primarily responsible for supporting students, but we recognize that in the pandemic that the adults who are our constituents, also constituents of the Ministry of Education, also needed additional support. So our psychological assistance program, because I would have indicated that there was one psychologist and two social workers, but I didn't say that we work with a number of private consultants. So if there are students that are identified who need assistance, we can also refer to our 
private persons. And so in the pandemic, we were given the go-ahead that if teachers expressed that they needed individual support, that they also could have been referred to those private consultants, and the ministry would take the responsibility for six sessions that teachers could benefit from. A number of teachers would have taken up that opportunity, and some are still benefiting from that particular support. Last term, however, we sought to focus more attention on staff. And so we encouraged our social workers at the primary school and the guidance counselors at the secondary school to put mental health and wellness support sessions in place for staff of both the primary, secondary, as well as the nursery institutions. So over the period of October to February this year, 65 support sessions, whole staff support sessions, were put in place for staff of primary schools. The guidance counselors also put whole staff support sessions in place for the staff members of the schools that they're at. Um, St. George Secondary, I singled them out because they had a wonderful program. Um, the head of the Guidance Counselors Association, Dr. Patricia Welch, um, they would have put monthly sessions in place of the staff at the school to help them to deal with coping with all of the challenges of the pandemic. I singled them out because they didn't just do a one-off. They did a monthly support. So we have been working for quite some time at supporting our students, but through this pandemic, we've also reached out that support to our staff as well.